Island biogeography was proposed by E.O. Wilson and MacArthur. The idea is that you can figure out the species diversity of a restricted area such as an island in the ocean based on immigration and extinction rates. The higher the immigration rate, the more diversity. The higher the extinction rate, the less diversity. Somewhere these two meet and that determines the approximate species diversity to be expected on the island. There are also two other influences that determine the immigration extinction rates. These are the size of the island and the distance of the island from the mainland. The bigger the island, let's again picture an island out in the ocean, the bigger that island is, the more immigration it's going to have just because species easily find it and the less extinction because there's more resources on the island. The opposite for a small island, you would have more extinction and less immigration. The second factor that determines species diversity is the distance from mainland. The closer an island is to the mainland, the easier it is for immigration, therefore more species. Also less extinction because you're having more immigration. The opposite, the further away it is from the mainland. If you get far away, you're going to have more extinction, less immigration, less species diversity. So the size of the island and the distance from the mainland determine the extinction rate and immigration rate, which in turn determines the species diversity. Well, although this applies to islands out in the ocean, it also applies to many other scenarios. For example, the number of stores in a mall. The bigger the mall, the closer the mall is to a city, or even the size of a park in a city. The bigger the park or the closer the park is to a rural area. What you're looking at right now are the Big Hatchet Mountains. These are mountains in southwestern New Mexico, just a few miles north of the border. If you look around, you can see that there are huge mountains way off in the distance. Those mountains are obviously separated from these big hatchet mountains by a big expanse of desert. So because of this big expanse of desert, these are essentially restricted areas. They call them sky islands. On top of those mountains over there, even where I'm sitting, it's at least 20 degrees cooler. There's a lot more rainfall. So the species that live here are well adapted for it. So the species have a hard time traveling between mountain ranges, say this mountain range and the one way over there. So island biogeography not only applies to islands out in the ocean, but it also applies to mountains in the deserts and many 